Hey all, how you doing? It's um Jackson. So, I just made a clip. I must say this nearly every beginning of every stupid vlog I make. I just made a clip, um, uploaded it, or tried to upload it to YouTube, and it had me pausing in it in it, in it again a lot, um, which happened last time um, on my last uh, vlog that I put in last time like those two two similar titles one I uploaded to my stupid phone and because my internet keeps dropping out and in and out on my phone it um it took a couple of days to actually upload which uh, is why I got a massive bill for a couple of hundred dollars which I then rang and complained and actually got out of it and so I should vote to fail so I should Ugh. anyway I've got internet which isn't Vodafone it's Optus but for some reason I can't make YouTube clips anymore just straight to YouTube because I pause and that was in the in the first one that I've uploaded there's me talking and then me pausing but lots of talking whilst you just have to stare at me in one pose all the time anyway yeah so um, <coughs> I you know I have technical issues constantly have te technical issues um, and um, yeah so I've got my old phone like a very old phone um, because my smartphone is broken which changes everything really when your smartphone's broken and you go back to technology non anti technology before the times technology yeah anyway means I'm not as addicted to Facebook as I was because um, you know, before I could, was that at any, any spare moment I had, I'd just get on Facebook. It's quite antisocial because I see people do it around me now, well, particular persons. Um, but now I don't. I occasionally get on this because this phone does go to um, Facebook, but it's it's annoying and slow and, and different setup. So I just don't really bother. And it's kind of nice. But, um, yeah, you fall out of the loop of things and that can be a bit tricky. Um, okay, so I wanted to quickly talk about uh, Reandron. Um, I had my third shot maybe two weeks ago. Oops, dropping things. Let me just quickly check. I think I think it was maybe two weeks ago, um, but I didn't write it down. Um, it's it. Um, I've had interesting experiences with Reandron. It it's um, some of the guys have said that you know they. Um, sorry, saying arm a lot, uh, found that they didn't have the emotional drop, blah, blah, blah. I've never had that on the Primo or the Sustanon. Um, I do, however, get it on the Reandron when I feel myself drop and I get sort of sad and depressive and I'm not sure if I get angry, I can't remember. Um, but, or well, not angry, but, you know, like, grrr and frustrated. And But I do, I do know I get a bit sloppy. That's how I know that I'm due for my shot. But it's only lasted, the first time it only lasted, uh, it was about four five weeks that I started to feel it but I, I waited till about eight weeks to get my blood test and then go see the doctor um, by then my levels were really low the next shot uh, I felt it drop about five weeks again and then waited till about six weeks I think to get my shot so um, this time I got it I'm getting blood tests at my six week moment to see where they are and then I might have to get off the end on it because I can't um, keep going for shots all the time um, every five to six weeks it's just un unaffordable because um, I had to pay $156 for this last shot normally I pay about 35 uh, that is because I am on the oh my doctor rings up and certifies my script which gives me two you hear that noise anyone who knows that site would know what that noise was <laughs> um, it wasn't Facebook <laughs> um, yeah so it my doctor rings up gives me two scripts and so they're 35 each which is it works out really cost efficient not when you're using your rand on much quicker than you need to be uh, or sh uh, should be um so yeah that that was um a bit of a bit of yeah not so good anyway so um did i yeah i think i explained all that right see because yeah um so this shot it hurt like it hurt, it hurt, uh, really a lot. It, um, so it was pain like I've never experienced. I don't like needles at the best of time. Um, say this is my bum, this is my bum. Actually, I've been told I've got no bum, so that is my bum, actually go that way. And this is the needle going in. So the needle hits, it goes, and I'm like, ah! 
then she starts squeezing it in. I'm like, oh! And then she's pulling it out. Oh! And I'm like, oh! It's really, really, really still hurting, really hurting, really hurting. And I don't like needles at the best of time. And I always bite my finger and I get it just to transfer the pain into my finger just in case. But this one, I bit my finger so hard that it left marks for like, I don't know, five minutes or something like that. Like so a long time. It wasn't just bite. Oh, they've gone because it wasn't very painful. Anyway, then I go home to check if my ass, looked in the mirror to check my ass to see if it was gushing out blood or something because it was still burning with pain. Um, and it was leaking out of my bum because the band-aid just fell off because normally I have to rip the band-aid off, which hurts also, but not as bad as the needle, but hurts because of my hairy bum. And rip, it just fell off. It was all oily liquid, so my bum had leaked it out because, and then I rang the nurse, Mama! and she said, um, because I was tense, you know, it like kind of didn't, suck in or whatever um yeah so that that kind of bit bites bits it bit bites it bites it does bite and um yeah so not only did it hit my back pocket in cost it hit my back pocket in pain but yeah i, I was wondering if um maybe like okay so i'll draw a picture because i was gonna i'll draw a picture of a bum this is where she did it um can you see that bum picture that's my bum so you know how you're supposed to do the shot I can't see there on the in the quadrant there well she did it more over here can you see that over towards the middle oh, that way not not in my crack oh, oh, oh now it's on you know where I'm just close to that side in the middle um, and that is as good as my drawings get in in the real world it's like that's that's it that's that's a great art for me um, so I don't know if that had something to do with it, but holy crap, um, I'm not, I'm going to be shit myself next, next shot, um, it, I'm not looking forward to it at all, because it's, it was, it was, it was not good, it was not good. Um, otherwise, the changes, uh, I actually went on to the Reandron because of my lacking sex drive, no, it's still not here, not at all, um, I have a less sex drive than ever before, I don't know if that's because maybe I had an idea, I'm on Champex, I must trying to give up no I am a non-smoker been on that for a couple of months maybe a month or two now um I only smoke when I drink still gotta get that one somehow um so maybe that's cutting my sex drive in half or something I'm now on honey goat weed trying that one we'll try everything I had Reiki today I'm gonna try that I've had acupuncture I've had herbs I want a goddamn sex drive I know you are all sick of hearing it but imagine what my head's like I think about sex as much as you guys with the sex drive, but I think about it how much I don't have it. That's how often I think about it. Anyway, enough of that. I've been told to think positively. That would be nice. I would like a sex drive. That would be nice. Hair growth. I'm getting more hair growth. Lots more. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Um, I've got a little bum fluff thing happening here. It's starting to come in here. Hey, I've got a torch to see if, to see if you can... Nah, doesn't really shake. Check this torch out. It's like the bomb diggity. It's cool, eh? Woo! Hey, it's got another one. Go. <laughs> I love my toys. <sighs> yeah, anyway. Um, so, hey, great. So, there's, yeah, definitely some, um, there is some, there's some benefits, hey, great, and, I don't know what else, but oh, well, everyone's been saying I look broader, but I think that's because I'm wearing white shirts, and I don't know. Anyway, um, that's about all I've got to say on that. Uh, my chest. Okay, so I'm about two months post up. Am I happy? No, um, but kind of. I. Um, it's still in this shot. It looks like I've still got fat there, but I don't. Um, I'm unhappy about my nipple, but mostly that it hasn't popped out. Um, that's that's just something I have to deal with. Um, I'm mostly unhappy about my cleavage. Can you see that? Hey, it looks my, like my bum picture. Can you see? Anyway, yeah, that's my... That, I don't know. Um, I'm hoping that goes away. I'm really hoping that goes away. I've been told to massage it. I am massaging it. Um, so hopefully hopefully it goes away but otherwise oh yeah the scars everything it's pretty amazing everything else is awesome um oh yeah so 
what they do is the first time they cut there and then over the top and then down and then they cut out the old scar and go new one and then underneath so they're not actually going through any old scar tissue which is pretty good i thought that was very interesting for those of you interested in that there you go um what else oh yeah so recently um we me and my girlfriend and her daughter went to Malula Bar and my family were also staying at a unit um that my parents have um my sisters and stuff and so my sisters and my brother-in-laws and we all went out on the on the drink and went to Malula Bar whatever it's called surf club and this woman came up to me and she's like are you butch or bloke uh -huh. and she's like are you butch or bloke and I'm like what do you mean and she's like well are you butch or are you a bloke and I'm like oh well, I'm a bloke, I'm a guy. What makes you say that? And um, she's like, well, you, apart from your lip ring, because this is Malulabar, a small uh, beach city town, you know. But she's like, um, you know, you, you, you've got a pretty face. You're too pretty to be a boy. What? <laughs> I haven't been told that before. But anyway, I thought that was very interesting. So anyway, I sort of said to her, well, you know, you've kind of hit the nail right on the head, right down the middle. I am, but I don't think Malulabar's ready to hear about it, so... I left it at that. Yeah, uh, just a little interesting moment I had. Uh, now I've got to talk about some serious stuff. We here in Brisbane have a group, or a group, what are they called? We have some people that, <laughs> that have jobs at a place called Healthy Communities, or also known as Quack, Queensland Association of healthy communities I don't know but they do amazing things for men who sleep with men gay men HIV men living or HIV um, they do heaps of me at T-Bar and um, QT's the social group uh, the support group I have um, they also they just do, do outreach work they give out free condoms and lube they 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 do so so much I can't list it all because I'm running out of time but they they do an incredible amount of stuff for our community and we need them and we've just got a new government in and they've decided to axe all funding and take their jobs away fantastic not so um we are doing all we can to help 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 basically um, I'm gonna try and leave a link below I don't know how to do that so even if I type it in manually hopefully you'll all link tr um, please just sign the petition if you live close to Brisbane or in Brisbane on the 30th which is next month of January February March. we're in March April May night no, we're in May are we in May yeah May 30th of May King George Square 5 p.m. if you work and finish at 5 come at 6 we'll be there then and at 7 I'm assuming we'll still be there Come and support. We really need you to come and support. This is a really, really important thing. It's not okay that the government has taken away these people's jobs and the things that they give our community. Um, it is, like, incredibly important that we stand behind them as a community. Um, and they're lovely people, and I don't want them to lose their jobs. So, please. Um, I'll also leave a link down there to the rally if I can do that. Um, also, T-Bar is doing um, Hanky Code this coming month, which is on the oh, shit, 9th, I think. God, I should know all these dates, but yes, the 9th of the next month, April May, June. Um, and so bring your hankies, but being it was T-Bar uh, gets out their hanky, but now with this quack stuff or healthy community stuff, it's T-Bar gets out their hanky for quack. So... Come along, there'll be hankies. I bought this material. Cute, quack, get it? Um, I'm going to try and sew. Yes, this is how much these people mean to me. I'm going to try and cut all this material into, there's more than just this tiny little bit. It's like four meters of it. And try and sew it so it doesn't fray and sell that for maybe four or five bucks to, and the money's going back to quack um, to try and help. So please do that and please march. Um, on Wednesday and please sign also if, if I've got a little bit more time I think I've got a tiny bit more time um, if you go on the Queen's Ball, Ball website um, I don't have that I'll try and link that down please vote for T-Bar and QT's under the categories of uh, event of the year I think or annual something and support group of the year QT's for T-Boys and T-Bar um, that would be great for the Queen's Ball because we're only a little group and we're going up against much bigger groups so that would be great if we actually got a, pr a prize and won I think that would be fantastic for the trans community. Anyway, I think that's all. Thank you all for listening and watching, and hopefully this will upload, being that I haven't done it straight to the internet. Take care. Peace out. Goodbye.